A Quinta Boneiro é a fadiga nossa comissa, não sei para mim, só que o Cybercrime está tudo no lugar a Quinta Boneiro e também com o Cuiabé não está mais consciente de que tem Cybercrime a Quinta Boneiro. Então, para mim, isso é o motivo também que nós estamos fazendo esse tipo de apresentação aqui. Eu estou pensando que o Cybercrime está no lugar na Boneiro, naturalmente ele não está consciente, mas como nós podemos tomar nota de isso aqui, ou saber o que está passando? Nós sempre abrimos nosso Facebook page de polícia, toda luna, nós estamos na Tepsan de Luna, para conscientizar o público que tem cybercrime e também ter para ajudar a prevenir a comunidade de vir a vítima de cybercrime. Como você não sabe de cybercrime no Boneiro? Tem diferentes coisas que estão ligadas, por exemplo, de ransomware, phishing, scams, também que estão ligadas para a social media. Tem diferentes cybercrime de litro que estão ligadas aqui no Boneiro. E como corpo policial, naturalmente, isso também é importante para atender o que está aqui no Boneiro. Correto. Se pode ver a vítima, vem a área polícia, do na boqueiro, assim também nos passa um investigação e também do na um, tempo como para prevenir o bolo de vítima, para prevenir para o bolo de vítima, vítima trobe. As you know, we at the MCB we are taking cybersecurity as a serious matter, and we acknowledge that our uh, commitment with the community to improve cybersecurity. That's why we are sponsoring this kind of event. We are happy to count with the support of the police from Bonaire. That is also the first cyber security or crime uh, unit in the Dutch Caribbean and that's why we are here supporting our communities to foster a better cyber security culture. Um, when we talk about cyber security we, we mostly think about big companies but anyone can be a victim of cyber security. Absolutely, absolutely and yes the hackers are targeting big companies because there's big money over there but also uh, companies that they can become easy a target. And we have seen a lot of different cases in Bonaire, and that's why we feel the need to come here and to work on fostering a better cybersecurity culture. What can someone do to prevent this? Uh, be on alert. Uh, we, they, they need to understand and learn how to recognize the red flags. When you get that sense of, sense of urgency that you need to open a link, uh, that is one thing, uh, creating that awareness that to identify phishing sites, to identify phishing emails and red flags, but also keeping the system up to date and exercise good practices like a, the strong password, using unique password for the different accounts and this kind of thing. The people need to understand that it, they're, they need to support the, themselves in protecting the privacy and their security. I'm the uh, electronic crime investigator by MCB, one of the first responders. Dus op the moment that a bepaalde aanval er gebeurt, uh, buiten dat the mensen naar de politie gaan, komen ze natuurlijk ook naar de bank, and that komt dan onmiddellijk bij mij terecht, waarmee ik dan de klant zo goed mogelijk probeer te helpen en te voorkomen dat ze meer fraude uh, 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 zullen hebben. Gebeurt dit vaak op Bonaire? Ja, uh, dingen kunnen gebeuren bij alleen het klikken op een link in een e-mail. Um, dat is heel belangrijk dat mensen uh, uh, er alert op zijn als je een e-mail ontvangt van een bank, van een, een, een organisatie. Check of die bank dat inderdaad heeft gestuurd. Organisaties vragen over het algemeen geen persoonlijke data via de, uh, uh, de e-mail of sms. Uh, dus klik daar niet op en, en check via de, de vaste kanalen van een organisatie of ze dat inderdaad gestuurd hebben. Uh, ik heb het ook gehad over uh, scams. Scams zijn uh, uh, natuurlijk dingen waarin je iets wordt beloofd om, om te ontvangen, maar het nooit zal krijgen. Maar dat is altijd nog een kosten die je moet betalen om het te kunnen krijgen. Uh, heel belangrijk daarin is altijd, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Dus als je uh, miljoenen hebt uh, uh, gewonnen terwijl je nooit een lottery ticket hebt ge ge gekocht, het wil not happen.